Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're taking a look at the Aspire Breeze NXT. This is the newest pod or all-in-one device from uh, Aspire. This was sent to me by Brad's Vapor for the purpose of this review so that I can check it out and get you all the information that you need. First thing first, it's got a 1000 milliamp hour battery and it holds 5.4 mils of e-liquid. 5.4 in this device. Which I absolutely love. I think that it's the perfect size for that amount of um, juice capacity. It is an all-in-one or a pod type of device. I call it more of an all-in-one because number one, it's got a 5.4 mil e-liquid capacity. And number two, it's actually got coils that you put in yourself and take out. So that to me is more of an all-in-one rather than a pod system. So we're gonna go ahead and go down. We're gonna take a look at it, show you all about it. Then we're gonna come back up, pros and cons. So let's go ahead and look at the Aspire Breeze NXT. Okay, so here we are with the Aspire Breeze NXT Journey to Infinity. This is the box that it comes in. It's kind of thick. I did rip it. It's kind of thick, but it's because it includes two little boxes. It does have your scratch off authenticity. And when you open it up, like I said, it does come with two boxes on the inside. This one's going to actually be the pod and the coils. And then this one's going to be the device itself. So let's go ahead and go over the pod and the coils real quick. So in this box, you're going to get your pod or all-in-one tank, and then you're going to get a spare coil. Now, it does come with two coils. One is already installed, and the other one is here. They are both the same coil. They're both 0.8 ohm coils. They are both mesh coils, and they are made of canthal. So you can go ahead and see right there. It's got the next mesh, and it's going to give you the information regarding the coil, the 0.8 ohms by Aspire. And this is what it looks like on the inside. You can clearly see the mesh. This is a 0.8 ohm resistance coil. So in, in a coil like this or a device like this, I prefer you to stay with regular e-liquid um, or free base e-liquid, as they call it, which is just a higher milligram e-liquid. Because of the fact that it's a lower resistance and it's an open coil like this, I don't feel like a salt nick is is necessary in a device like this. And I'll show you why. Here's your pod here or your all-in-one tank right here. It does come with a dust cover on top so you can remove it. I'm gonna tell you right now that this dust cover is definitely a lot better than most. It does stay put. It's not one that's really loose that falls off very easily. There's your mouthpiece right there. And if you notice, it's a really, really open mouthpiece. It's not like a restrictive mouthpiece. Again, leading to the reason why I said that I would use a regular or a higher milligram nicotine uh, e-liquid rather than a salt nick in this device. This right here does hold 5.4 mils of e-liquid. It does have a viewing window here, viewing window here, and then a fill port right there. On the bottom, this is where you would actually remove your coil and they are press in coils. So all you have to do is just release the coil, pull it out as so. And again, this is the same exact coil that the other one is, and they are made of Canthal, both mesh, both 0.8 ohm coils. Now, for a coil like this, what I like to do whenever you do have a coil that's got the wicking ports on the outside as it is like this, sort of like a regular coil, is I like to go ahead and find my coil. And by that, I mean, just to help it wick up a little bit faster, I like to put a little bit of e-liquid right on the outside and then just a drop inside the coil just to help it start wicking a little bit faster. Oops, I'm gonna turn this one this way, like that. And then a little bit on the inside, just a little bit to help it start wicking up. Now with this coil here, if you notice, it's got a flat piece. So you're gonna make sure that you put it in just like this. Once it's in there, this is actually the part that connects to the device itself to actually make it work. To fill it, what you can do is you can actually fill it here or you can also fill it while it's in the device. And I'll show you that later. So to fill it, all you're gonna do is just open it up like this right here. Again, 5.4 mils of e-liquid. I actually, for this device, only use um, my regular standard three milligram nicotine or the max I use is like a six milligram nicotine. And if you notice, if you fill it this way, you can actually see the level right there. You don't have to worry about it. If you notice no spilling, no back pull of the e-liquid or anything, it just feels really, really nice. And then it looks like that once it's in. Now that takes me over to the device. Now for the device, if you notice the connection is here and then there's a connector here. This is the Aspire Breeze NXT 
in all its glory. This is what it looks like. It actually comes in three different colors, red, black, and white. And it says breeze next here. You've got a button here. It says aspire on the bottom. You've got battery ventilation. On the side, you've got your micro USB port. And then on this side, you've got an external airflow control, which is really nice. Right from the outside, you don't have to take out any of the pod or the tank or anything like that. Now this does have a 1000 milliamp hour internal battery. And to turn the device on, it's five clicks, one, two, three, four, five, it's gonna come on. This is gonna indicate once you're pressing the button, if it's green, it's fully charged, blue, it's partially charged, and red, you would wanna charge it. It does take about an hour to fully charge it because it is one amp charging, but this is really good because of the fact that it's auto draw or you can press the button. So if you're one of those that likes an auto draw, this will work. If you're one of those like me that likes the button, it'll work. Either way, it gives you the same type of vape and it's got that control to it. To turn it off, one, two, three, four, five, turns it off and it'll blink and turn off for you. Now, when you have the pod inside of here, You've actually got the viewing window right here where you can see your e-liquid level really, really clear. You can also see it from here, but I really like the fact that it's on the side. And then on the side here, you can also see the e-liquid level and you can fill it from the outside, which I think is really, really key. You do the same exact thing, just open it up right here like this and you would fill it. When you're filling it and it's this way, you can actually see your e-liquid level while you're filling it, which really makes a difference. So you definitely do not have to take this out except for to change out your coil. That's about it for this device. Now, again, it does have a 1000 milliamp hour battery and the coil is a 0.8 mesh Canthal coil. It's rated between 15 to 20 watts. In a device like this, there is no type of wattage setting or any type of voltage setting. It's basically um, like, uh, it works sort of like on a bypass mode. So as your battery drains down and gets really, really low to the red, you're gonna be able to feel the difference. But other than that, it's got great output to it. So yeah, so that is the Breeze NXT by Aspire. Let's go ahead and go on top. We're gonna talk more about this pros and cons. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Aspire Breeze NXT. Before anything, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we'll talk more about it. Now I do have the airflow totally wide open, so let's go ahead and have a vape. That was pushing the button and now it's just gonna be on the auto draw. Either way you do it, whether or not you like pushing the button or you like an auto draw, it works perfectly in both ways. Now I'm gonna go over the cons and basically, I haven't really found a con to this. There is one con. When you're trying to pull out the coil from the, the pod itself, um, from here, it is a little bit hard the very first time that you try to get that coil out, but that only happened to me the very first time that I tried it. Other than that, it, it hasn't happened again. It's pretty easy to get into it. But other than that, I can't find any cons. I'm really, really trying with this. Um, pros, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's lightweight. It feels like a pod device, even though it's more of an all-in-one. It does have a 1000 milliamp hour battery. That to me is absolutely amazing because something like this that is, it's got a restricted type of um, wattage range because it's it's sort of like a bypass. So it's not like you can turn it way up where it's gonna be using your battery quickly. It's got that pod style feel to it. So it's gonna run your battery down a lot slower. It's not really gonna be that fast. The second is gonna be the construction of this. This is totally made of aluminum and then the tank part is actually made of the PTCG plastic. Very, very durable, very nice, very, very easy to work with. It, it doesn't, it's not a glass and it's not like a cheap plastic, really, really nice um, type of material. And I think that the construction is really nice. Another pro is the battery ventilation. It's got a nice amount of battery ventilation, so you don't have to worry about if the battery is being vented or anything like that. It works perfectly well. The next one is gonna be the flavor. The flavor on here with these coils is absolutely amazing. Like I said down below, I usually use this with a regular e-liquid, my regular standard three milligram e-liquid and I never have an issue. For some of you out there that might want a little bit more of a nicotine hit, 
I would probably just go up to like the next level. So if you're at a three milligram, try a six. If you're at a six, try a nine. But for me, it works perfect just the way that it is. Being that it's an all-in-one and it's also a 0.8 ohm mesh coil. Being that it's really, really open and stuff, I don't feel that a device like this needs any type of Nick salt. Personally, I don't like Nick salts, to be totally honest with you. I feel like they give you a little bit too much nicotine that you really don't need. Um, so for me, preferably, I would use like a three or a six milligram nicotine of regular e-liquid in here. Um, the next big pro is going to be 5.4 mils of e-liquid capacity, like small, compact, and holds a lot of e-liquid. 5.4 mils of e-liquid is definitely something that gets me pretty much all through the day because of the fact that it's got, um, a restricted type of pull because it is like a pod style type of device. It's not it doesn't use a lot of e-liquid. I've actually only filled it twice, once in the morning and then once in like right in the, maybe like three, four o'clock in the afternoon. But other than that, it's lasted me pretty much all day. Ergonomic design. I want to talk about that because the way that it feels in your hand, when you're holding it, you automatically hold it this way. Now, not necessarily do you have to press the button to actually vape it. You can actually just do the auto draw feature, which is great. But I like the fact that it's got like a finger um, a finger hold to it, if you will. So that to me is really, really, really important in something like this. I'm, I don't feel like it's going to slip out of your hand. I don't feel like it's too heavy of a device. I really like the feel of this and the shape is absolutely amazing. So again, you can do auto draw or, um, fire it with the button. That to me is another pro because it caters to both type of vapors. The ones that like the auto draw. The ones that like to be in control like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you can do it either way. Another huge, huge pro to this, which I did save the best for last, is going to be the airflow control. You no longer have to take out the pod itself or the tank itself to adjust the airflow control. You can actually do it right from the outside, which is great because it's not too loose either. It's a really nice, it, it's got a really nice restriction to it when you're actually changing out your, um, your airflow. So it's not too loose at all. So if you're thinking that it is, it's really not. It's got a really good tension on it. So I have turned it down to about halfway. So I'm going to go ahead and have a vape. absolutely amazing flavor. This gives me like a sugar lips kind of flavor. It's that good of a flavor. When an e-liquid is really, really a nice tasty e-liquid and your coils are really, really good, a lot of times you'll have like that flavor linger like right on the inside of your lips and that does it for me on this. It's really, really that good. Now I did do it without firing it. I'm going to go ahead and do it with firing it. Now, as I said a minute ago, I do like to press the fire. I most of the time forget that it is an auto draw only because the button's on there, but you can use it either way. For me, it's just great either way. Now it is a warmer type of vape. So it's not like a really, really cool vape that's hard to um, vape. It's not super, super restrictive unless you turn down the the airflow. You can, this caters to all different vapors. The ones that like a more tighter mouth to lung to the re more restrictive direct lung. So either way. Now, the only one thing that I would recommend is possibly, because I didn't see any other coils other than the ones that it comes with, which is the 0.8 ohm coils, which per personally are absolutely perfect for me. But for those that like an even more restrictive vape. I think that like a one ohm resistance coil would be absolutely amazing in this. For those that like a really, really tight um, mouth to lung. Even though if you cut it down, it makes it sort of like, um, you know, really restrictive mouth to lung. I feel like it'll be even more restrictive with a higher resistance coil. And that's almost all the way closed. The flavor, the more you close it down, the flavor even gets better. Again, it's a warmer vape though. So it's not a cooler vape the more that you shut it down. So I do want to let you know about that. For me, this works throughout the day because of the fact that I can adjust it to how I'm feeling at that moment. If I want more of a direct lung, a restrictive direct lung, I can have it all the way open. Then if I feel like in the evening I want something a little bit tighter, I can close down the airflow and right from the side. I don't even have to take out the pod for anything other than a changed coil. 
which is another pro. The coil on here has amazing, amazing flavor. It does not disappoint whatsoever. It's got the perfect amount of flavor. It works just perfectly. It's giving me that nice, um, sort of like warm vape that I personally like in a device like this. So I think that that's definitely a pro. You can see your e-liquid level. That's another huge pro. You can see your e-liquid level, whether you're looking at it like this, you can see it here, you can see it here. So you're always gonna be able to see it here. And when you're filling it, you can see your e-liquid level right there from the side. So that to me is another huge pro to this. Any way that you put it, I, I really don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. It comes with two coils, which is also good. It also comes with your mouth guard. That's another pro I did forget to mention. This mouth guard is a little bit, or dust cover, is a little bit different than a lot of other ones that I've had. This one is just a little bit tighter. Now, personally, I lose these. I lose these all the time. I like that it has it, but I lose them all the time. So I really don't use it too much. Now it does come with a USB cable, which I did forget to mention. So you can charge the device. Again, it does have the charging port right here, which is definitely my last pro on this. Ha being able to have it on the side rather than the bottom, I can always have my device up while it's charging, which to me is definitely a pro. Not that it leaks or anything, but I just, I don't like having my devices on the side. It's just an OCD thing. I like to be able to charge it when it's standing up and in this one you can do it now these are available at brad's vapor for 35.99 they do come in three colors i'll go ahead and put the colors right up here for you and in addition to that you can actually purchase additional coils for 15.99 a set of three coils that's going to last you more than a month these coils this one here i've had i've been using it for a week and i don't even feel like it's even stopped performing as well as it did when I first started using it. It's really, really good. These coils are gonna last you a lot. The Aspire Breeze was just like that. The coils lasted forever. I think that this is gonna be a long lasting device for those of you that like the Breeze or the Breeze 2. This is definitely your next Breeze, I promise you. Totally different in the way that it, it looks, the way that it performs, and the way that it's got those options for you. I feel like this is definitely gonna hit the market and hit it hard. I feel like this is gonna be definitely a popular device for anybody, whether or not you like a restrictive direct lung or you like a more tighter mouth to lung. Either way that you do it, you're gonna love it. That's what I love about it. The mouthpiece is not uncomfortable at all. I don't have a problem with it. For some, you might not like it, but for me, it works absolutely perfect. My lips fit right around it absolutely amazingly. And it's just, it's a comfortable, comfortable vape. And super flavorful, that's another key. So yeah, so that's it for my review. If you like the review, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on a type of device like this. Um, do you like all-in-ones or do you prefer more of a pod style device? Let me know your thoughts in the bottom and I will see you in the next one.